for people who are likely to face starvation. The government is clear that we cannot allow anybody to die. And I want to assure the people of Kenya that we are not sleeping, something is being done. And in the next few days, uh, a lot of help will be coming through. I am aware, as you say, that uh, on top of the Asal areas, there are areas that are not designated as uh, arid runs where there is a big problem. We have a big problem in Ken constituency in Yeri. We have a big problem in Uburu Ward in Madera, that is Gatunganga area. We have a problem in Makuyo, Idanga area, Kakuzi. We have a problem. We have a problem in Daragua. We have a problem in Deya Karai. We have a problem in very north and very south. We have a problem in Taraka. And uh, all those uh, areas have been uh, identified and uh, the needs have been assessed. And uh, as soon as I get back to Nairobi, I'll be chairing a meeting uh, tomorrow so that we can get a plan on how to make sure that food reaches the serving cases and uh, water. Uh, for animals and for human beings. We, we are still debating on whether we want to do all the real food or want to do the cash transfer program so that we avoid wastages and so much money being spent on logistics. That is a decision that we have to make in the next two days. But definitely something is being done. <laughs> So there are things that can wait. You know, this uh, traveling abroad, they can wait. People can travel when things get a bit better. In areas of hospitality, people can have seminars when things get better. But of course, the priority areas like medicine, you know, drugs, that has to be done. Security has to be done. So we will look at the, what you call that priority areas. Areas that we can postpone the decision and uh, that can be done when money is available. He is well briefed and I have no doubt uh, Eric Wamombi listening to him, sitting down with him, he has what it takes to take Madeira constituency to the next level. And I am sure, I have no doubt that the people of Madeira did not make a mistake. I believe they made the right decision. I included because I voted for him. I have also assured him of support from the national government, from President William Ruto and I that whatever the national government needs to do for Madeira constituency, William Good to our president and I will be available to him. I have urged him to stay in touch with us continuously. We are available to him and the people of Madeira so that we listen to whatever needs are there. And he is lucky because I quite understand this constituency and therefore I will be of quite some bit of help the same applies to our president who has also been there here, you know, repeatedly. So I want to take this opportunity to thank all of you for the support that you accorded me for the last five years. Those of you who are in the national government uh, constituency development fund, I want to say thank you. This work would not have been possible with I alone. I cannot take for granted your contribution. I am very grateful to you for the support that you gave to me. For those who are in the constituency office, I want to say thank you. The constituency uh, office manager, uh, my uh, personal assistants, the secretaries, the messengers, and the people who are in charge of the locations, our coordinators. I really want to say from the bottom of my heart, uh, I could not have done it alone. And I'm really, really very, very grateful. And I ask those of you whom the member of parliament will retain to accord him similar support and make sure that you support him uh, throughout so that he can he can succeed. In a very special way, I want to thank the people of Madeira where my political journey began. The people of Madeira are very special to me because when things became very tough and the criminal justice system was weaponized against me, all our projects were suspended to punish me and to coerce me to abandon my political beliefs. The people of Madeira stuck with me and they told me not to be intimidated. They told me not to be coerced. They told me not to be pushed around. They are with me 100%. And that is how I was able to take a firm stand. Had the people of Madeira wavered, 
and decided because I was under siege and projects were being stopped and they abandoned me, I will not be where I am today. So I am really very grateful to the people of Madeira who essentially are the descendants of the Mau Mau. These are courageous people, they are people who are brave, and they are people who urged me to stay, to stay firm and not to be intimidated. And they hung around me, and they stood with me, they prayed for me, and supported me. And most importantly, finally, when it came to the ballot, they came out and voted for William Ruto and I to a man. I'll be forever be grateful to the people of Madeira, and I want to assure them that I'll, though I'm busy with the national duties, Madeira is my home. I'll always be here, and whatever I can do for the people of Madeira, I'll be very, very happy to do it uh, for them. Finally, I want to thank my church leaders in Madeira, the Madeira Economic Forum, for their support and their prayers. I have told the new member of parliament to work closely with the church leaders. I believe I succeeded largely because of working with them. Our church leaders, our pastors, our reverends, our bishops are good people. They are honest people. And when you work with them, you cannot go wrong. Because they are with people every day. And they are very useful people in terms of giving you what people are saying and what people want. And what I did is that with continuous engagement with our church leaders, I was on top of things. I knew exactly where there is a problem and where there is none. And they guided me very well, and where I was making mistakes, they were able to correct me. I have asked a member of parliament to agree to be guided and to be corrected. I have asked him to continue listening to the people. I have asked him to continue visiting the people. Even after finishing his duties in Nairobi, I have requested him to consider spending a lot of time with the people of Madeira and continuously engage with them, listen to them, understand them, and address their issues as they come. So with those very many remarks, once again, I want to say thank you very much. I want to say thank you very much, you good people, for supporting me, for starting with me, and for us succeeding together. The successes that we have made in Madeira are not mine alone. It was a joint effort between yourselves and I. And for that I will remain forever grateful. I want to wish Honorable Eric Wabombi the very best. We will hold you in prayer. If you need our advice, I'll be available. If you need my counsel, I'll be available. If there is anything you want me to help you to do, I'll just be there. If you feel you are stuck somewhere and it's not very clear, please don't hesitate to call me or come and see me. I'll always be available. And for my good people over there, don't forget me because I'm not very good at this. I'm not going to be there. 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 I don't want to tell you, I'm still the same person. This seat has gotten me, I cannot get it to my head. Because I did not get it to myself. And we remain very humble. And we remain very available. 